Welcome back. So this lesson we're going to make kind of short. I just want to show you guys if I join again, let's just join with John right here. Everything is running and we're getting that unique identifier that we want. Now we used to generate UID last lesson, but this lesson, I want to get rid of that one as well. I want to start using type ORM to generate that unique ID for me using database instead of actually making my own UUID. So we're going to add this primary generated column and notice inside the parentheses there is we want to generate a unique identifier that's a way for us notice normally when we generate a column um, an automatic generated id in the column we normally use a number but now we're going to change it because i want to save this as a string i'm just i just like that as strings instead of numbers we are actually going to use this primary generated column with a unique identifier and then automatically tyborm will build probably using a library similar to this guy, it'll build and add a unique identifier every time we create a new client. So let's try and grab this line right here and let's find our backend code. It's right here. We will not use this guy anymore. We will actually completely remove this guy from the system. But first, we, before we do it, let's go to our entity and just change the client ID right here. Right now, it's a primary column with a unique type. We're going to change that and actually have it be an auto-generated primary column with a UUID inside it. So now it'll automatically generate that unique identifier for me. Now with this in place for the entity, I can go to my service and I can get rid of this line right here completely. I don't need to generate the unique ID anymore on my own. I'll let the database take care of that for me. Another thing I can do is I can go up to the top and get rid of that UUID up here as well. And the final thing I can do is I can run an npm uninstall down here to get rid of that package we just added last lesson. Yes, I know I added it and then removed it, but I just want you guys to see that you actually can get this package if you need a unique identifier and you don't use a database for some reason. Sweet, so now we have that created. Let's see if our code is still running as we expect. Let's go and create a new user here. Let's join with Bill and see if he actually joins with a unique identifier again. There we go, Bill has joined with a unique identifier. Let's see in the database as the final thing. We have two users and notice the IDs are very similar because they're both UUIDs, but the difference is that the first one is was built using that library we added last lesson, and the second one is now built using the entity and adding this auto-generated column right here. Now again, the UUID will start using that next lesson, so that we can actually start being more intelligent if we are locked in or not. So I'll end the lesson right here and see you next time where we'll have more fun. Bye-bye.